Alright, so in this tutorial we're going to make a health system with death and respawn. Let's get started. Start off by making a new folder for your game UI. Open that up. Make a blueprint class. Search for HUD. Call that in-game HUD. And then make a user interface widget blueprint. This one's going to be the player in-game HUD. And then one more widget blueprint for your health bar. Open up the in-game HUD event graph. Go to the begin play and create a widget. Get player character controller and select the player in-game HUD, promote that to a variable, and then add it to the viewport. Compile, save, close that. Now we're going to go into the health bar, get a canvas panel, and a progress bar. I'm just going to anchor that down here and adjust the size. And I'm going to change the color there to be more like a health bar. Just so I can see the color there. And rename that to health progress bar. And then go into the event graph. And on the pre-construct. We're going to cast to BP third person character and get your player character. Promote that to a variable. And then go down to the construct. Get your character out in the progress bar and set percent out of the progress bar. And then we're going to save that for now and go into your character blueprint. We're going to add a couple of variables and custom events. So let's start with the variables. Add one variable for health and make it a float. And then add one more for max health. And that's going to be a float as well. Compile, save. Set them both to one. And then I'm going to do an any damage event. And you get your health out go minus, plug the health in, the damage, and then you want to clamp the float, and grab your max health into the max, and then get your health again and set it at the end, plug that in. Alright, next we're going to create a custom event. This custom event is going to be called update health and then we're going to create an event dispatcher for on damaged compile save drag that out and call it and then we're going to go up to the health where we set it and update health all right and then go back into the health bar and get your health out of your player set it into the percent and then grab your player character, drag out of that, bind event to on damaged, and then drag out of that and create a custom event for update bar. And then you want to get your player character again and your progress bar and set the percent. And then get your health and plug it into the percent. And we're done in here. Close that. Go into your game UI, into your in-game HUD, the, the widget, and get a canvas panel, and then add your health bar in. I'm just going to anchor it. Save that. Go into your character blueprint. We're going to create an event for applying damage. I'm just going to use spacebar for every time I jump, 
I apply damage. This is 0 0.2. And self. And damage causer is self. And event instigator is get player controller. And that's it for the damage. Now we need to create a custom event. After that, let's just test this out first. Alright, uh, I can't see my health bar. Uh, sit in there. Oh, I know what it is. Just uh, close this out. Go into your world settings. I didn't override this into our in-game HUD. There we go. Save, play, and we got our health bar. Now every time I jump, it should take health. There we go. Now right now we don't have the death or respawn set up, so that's what we're going to do next. So go into your player character. And we're going to get a branch in here. Get your health. And go less than or equal to zero. And then go over into empty space, create a custom event for player death and then you're going to get your mesh out set simulate physics check that and get your mesh out again set collision enabled and set this to physics query only and next get your capsule component out set collision enabled to no collision then drag out your health and set that to zero to make sure it's at zero. After that, get your character movement and drag out of that disable movement. And that's it for the death event. Now we're going to create another custom event for the respawn player. Add a delay in there for three seconds. And then open level by object reference and select the level you want it to open and that's the respawn player event now go up to true drag out get your player death and then drag out of that and get your respawn player and that's it compile save and test it so if I jump five times I should simulate physics and then respawn there we go. I hope this helped. Thanks for watching.